students how to make a graph and what information you obtain from this graph graph is what it is a plot between two variables you take position time you take velocity time you take acceleration time position is a variable time is a variable velocity is a variable time is a variable acceleration is a variable time is a variable students there are many physical quantities in physics you know distance displacement speed velocity acceleration time etc and there is also mathematical relation among them how speed is related to time how acceleration is related to time but students through graph you can immediately collect information how position is changing with time whether position remains constant how speed is changing how velocity is changing how acceleration is changing so with time how these quantities are changing so to get information quickly suddenly we plot a graph so first one is your position time graph this is nothing but x versus t so i take along x axis time this is origin along y axis this is position so if the graph is like this what does it mean it means with the increase of time position remains same i mean position is constant irrespective of increase of time check it suppose this is 1 second this is 2 second this is 3 second this is 4 second suppose it is 10 meter so in 1 second position 10 meter in 2 second position 10 meter in 3 second 10 meter in 4 second 10 meter i mean if the graph is parallel to time axis then position remains same or you say its speed or velocity is zero suppose i start my motion here and i move like this my position is changing but if i will be here for some time my position is constant i am at the same position so time is running but my position is constant that's why my speed is zero or velocity is zero so in this graph you can get information position remains constant and speed is zero so for this your speed is equal to zero okay so this is one type of graph if i make this type of graph suppose here is a graph what does it mean if the graph looks like that it means with time position is changing how position is changing position changes at a constant rate for example in first one second i am here means i cover 2 meter in the next one second i am here 
also same distance if with every second one covers equal distance then the graph looks like that so in this case with time position is increasing but at a constant rate and in this case your speed is equal to constant that means how can you obtain speed one raises the question how can one obtain speed or velocity from position time graph if you take slope you will get speed or velocity how to obtain slope suppose here is a point here is another point here is another point here is another point like that you consider any two points suppose i consider this point and that point i make a right angle triangle suppose a b c is a right angle triangle and this angle is theta so what is the slope of this graph how to obtain slope slope is equal to a b divided by b c or c b for any graph students slope is taken as change in y axis divided by change in x axis so here change in y axis means students this one what is this one can write this is delta x change in time means that one what is that delta t so in earlier class you know delta x is a change in position delta t is a change in time so delta x divided by delta t is the speed or you say velocity so when you consider slope of position time graph you would get what that is nothing but your speed or you say velocity so this type of graph i mean a graph passing through origin and straight line gives you constant speed or constant velocity if i take one example you say suppose i consider one example like that so when t is one second position 2 meter 2 second position 4 meter 3 second position 6 meter i mean an equation is given to you and you are plotting a graph the graph is like that so how to find out speed from position time graph by taking its slope how to take slope of this graph so here is a point i consider here is a point i consider i draw a triangle so this is a right angle triangle so what is slope suppose a b c so a b a b means this one what is this this is parallel to that that means a b is nothing but this one so what is this That is six minus two. Length of this is six minus two. So that gives you six minus two divided by. What is that? B C. B C means one to three. One to three second means three minus one. So that is your 
फोर बाय टू इज इक्वल टू टू यूनिट मतलब हियर इट इज टू मीटर पर सेकेंड यू कैन से टू यूनिट सिंस इट इज गिवेन सेकेंड मीटर सो दैट इज टू मीटर पर सेकेंड सो हियर द स्पीड द स्लोप इज द स्पीड और वेलोसिटी आर इट्स वैल्यू इज टू मीटर पर सेकेंड so actual students from graph you find out the slope okay similarly if the graph is like that If the graph is like that, the nature of the graph is this. Then students, it is an increasing graph means with time position is changing, but not at a constant rate. In the earlier figure, position changes at a constant rate, but in this case, position is increasing, but it is not at a constant rate. For example, one says. In first second two meter, in next second three meter, in next second four meter, like that position is increasing but it is not at a constant rate. In this way we say. So if this is the graph, similarly students, if the graph is like that, position is decreasing. So this is the case of decreasing. so this is increasing slope one say this is increasing slope i mean here speed is increasing but if take the graph is like that here decreasing slope i mean the speed is decreasing so you understand what is this position time graph if i make the graph like that suppose i make the graph like this one students what does it mean what it indicates you see in this graph what happens 0 to t1 the graph is increasing yeah the graph is increasing but the position is not at a constant rate but from t1 to t2 this one straight this is a straight so t1 to t2 position is increasing but at a constant rate and after t2 this is parallel to time axis means position remains constant so here position increasing but not at a constant rate here increases at a constant rate but here position remains same one can Take the example. Sir, I start my vehicle, changing my position. Then, or if say from this to that, one says I move with a constant speed. First, I start my vehicle, but my speed is not constant. I start my vehicle, move some time. That is from zero to t one. Then after t one, my speed remains same, constant. Then after t two, my position is constant means I apply the brake. So this is the indication of this graph. So I think you understand what is position time graph. But very important from position time graph, if you take the slope, then you will get the speed or velocity. Okay. 
Now come to students your velocity time graph. Same nature. This is time. This is your velocity. If you take the graph like that, what does it mean? It means speed or velocity remains constant or same. I mean an object moves with constant velocity. If I take the graph like that, with time, velocity increases at a constant rate. So, it is increasing velocity but at a constant rate. Students, constant rate means what? I am taking one example. Constant rate means what? Suppose 0, 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, 4 second like this. Suppose this is 2 meter per second, this is 4 meter per second, this is 6 meter per second, this is students 8 meter per second. Try to understand this. Starting point 1 second 2 meter per second, 2 second 2 meter per second, 3 second 6 meter per second, 4 second 8 meter per second. So if you plot graph for this, the graph is like that. How? See, from 0 to 1 second, time interval is 1 second. So, velocity change is 2 meter per second. From 1 second to 2 second, time interval is 1 second. Velocity is 2 meter per second. How? 2, 4. I mean 4 minus 2. So, what is the change in velocity? Sir, this is 2 meter per second. 2 second to 3 second. Time interval is 1 second. What is the change in velocity? 4 to 6, that is 2 meter per second. I mean in each second, your velocity increase or velocity change is constant, that is 2 meter per second. That's why I told which time velocity increases at a constant rate. So students, if velocity increases like that, it is the case of constant acceleration. This is what constant acceleration. One again says how to obtain that acceleration. If you take the slope, like the earlier one, if you take the slope, you will get acceleration because Slope of any graph is change in y-axis divided by change in x-axis. So in this case, change in y-axis means change in velocity by change in time. So change in velocity by change in time is the acceleration. But if the graph is like that, this is the case of uniform or constant acceleration. Students, Uniform acceleration is also known as constant acceleration. Okay. So this is what your velocity time graph. If one takes the graph is like this, suppose one says, sir, the graph is like that. What does it mean? It means with time velocity decreases. Velocity decreases means suppose you start your bike from your home and reaches the market. So what happens? You start your bike from home and start as the market means when you reach the market you have to apply brake. I mean velocity decreases and at last the vehicle comes to rest. So, this is the case of your decreasing velocity. Okay, students. If I make like this, suppose the graph is like that.
What does it mean? Suppose O, A, B, C is the graph. What is the meaning of that graph? What is your description for that graph? It means it starts motion from origin for T1 time. It moves with a constant acceleration or uniform acceleration. From T1 to T2, it moves with zero acceleration. I mean, velocity is constant means acceleration is zero. Students, you know, change in velocity divided by change in time is the acceleration. So, from time T1 to T2, no change of velocity. That's why acceleration is zero. So, this is the zero axis and this is what we see i mean t2 to t3 time the velocity is decreasing because this is maximum velocity now velocity decreases to zero from origin velocity increases to maximum then constant then from maximum to zero so this is the meaning or description of this graph. So, what is the importance of this graph, student? You can obtain the acceleration by taking the slope and also another important point, if you take the area of this graph, area means suppose the graph is O to A, A to B, B to C. If you take area, this is the area, I mean area O, A, B, C, this area, what is that? This is a trapezium. So, what it gives? If you take area of velocity time graph, this gives you displacement or distance. Suppose this is the trapezium, you give the area of the trapezium. Students say how to take because you know area of trapezium that is half. This is into this is the parallel side, I mean AB plus OC. This is OC, this is AB into what? This one. Suppose I take this one. Suppose this take I take AD into AD. So, if you take area of this, this gives you what your displacement or student's distance. Suppose one says, so the graph is like this. So, the graph is like that. So, you take area of that how? You just join. So, this is a triangle, right angle triangle. If you take this area, this gives you displacement in t1 second so if you take this area what is this this area if you take only this area this is the displacement between t1 and t2 second if you take this area only this area this is a right angle triangle if you take this area then you find displacement from t2 to t3 i mean by taking area in a time interval, you are told displacement in a time interval. So, in a time interval, if you take the area, you will get the displacement. So, important point to remember, slope of velocity time graph gives you acceleration. Area bounded by this graph with time axis area bounded by this graph with time axis gives you displacement or distance so this is student velocity time graph if you come to acceleration time graph suppose i take like that
स्टूडेंट इन एक्सलेशन टाइम ग्राफ इफ आई टेक द ग्राफ इज लाइक दिस फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू टी वन इन दिस टाइम एक्सलेशन इज कॉन्स्टांट ए बी शोज कॉन्स्टांट एक्सलेशन एंड दिस सी डी आई मीन दिस इज ए ग्राफ ऑल्सो टी वन टू टी टाइम सी डी मीन्स एक्सलेशन इज जीरो ऑन दिस एक्सलेशन इज जीरो सी डी एंड ई टू ए एक्सलेशन इज कॉन्स्टांट बट नेगेटिव एंड यू नो नेगेटिव एक्सलेशन इज योर रिटार्डेशन नेगेटिव एक्सलेशन इज योर रिटार्डेशन सो दिस इज फॉर योर एक्सलेशन टाइम ग्राफ एक्सलेशन मे बी पॉजिटिव एक्सलेशन मे बी जीरो एक्सलेशन मे बी नेगेटिव एंड इन दिस ग्राफ ए बी इज पॉजिटिव बट कॉन्स्टांट आई मीन कॉन्स्टांट एक्सलेशन सी डी इज जीरो एक्सलेशन एंड ई एफ दैट इज योर बट नेगेटिव एक्सलेशन बट कॉन्स्टांट सो स्टूडेंट्स इफ आई कंपेयर दिस टू ग्राफ्स दिस इज एक्सलेशन टाइम ग्राफ दिस इज भेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ इट इज रिप्रेजेंट सेम सपोज आई टे ए टू बी मीन्स दिस इज द केस कॉन्स्टांट एक्सलेशन सी टू डी मीन्स कॉन्स्टांट सॉरी जीरो एक्सलेशन ई टू एफ मीन्स नेगेटिव एक्सलेशन दिस इज नेगेटिव बट एक्सलेशन कॉन्स्टांट दिस इज जीरो एक्सलेशन This is positive but constant acceleration. It means so this graph and this graph are comparable. I mean from acceleration time graph you can draw this velocity time graph or from this velocity time graph you can draw this acceleration time graph. If one raises the question, sir, from this acceleration time graph. You draw this velocity time graph. Can you draw position time graph? Yes. You see how this is. So this will be like that. First, you see velocity remains constant. Sorry, here velocity is increasing, acceleration is constant. So the graph is like that. This is what increasing. Then velocity is constant. For constant velocity, this is straight. Then this is decreasing velocity. So like that, this is decreasing velocity. I mean, from O to this point, if I take this point, this is for this graph. For this one, you draw a straight one. It is a straight. From that one, this is a decreasing one. So very interesting one. What if this graph is there? You find out that graph. From this, you find out that. If this is given, you find out that, and also you find out that. So all are the graphs about position time, velocity time. And acceleration time. So students, so far as graph is concerned, you know how to find out slope, how to find out area. Okay.